Well, hello everybody, it's Dr. Hank and welcome to our Mastermind Magnets and we are becoming magnets to more business, more service. This is Teresa Pry. More, more time. Oh, I'm going to mute here, everybody for right now. And so you're muted, but if you guys want, hi, Valerie. That uh, if you guys do, um, uh, if you have any comments during this, this typically is about uh, an hour of just amazing information and up to the date to where you're just going to be even more so of a uh, of service, of up to speed to be able to serve uh, your customers with uh, excellence. And so we're um, uh, going to uh, take a look. We'd like to look at first kind of the broad perspective and then get it down kind of like what's going on in the world and then get it down to some really amazing things that will increase your business. By the time you get off here today, you will have some ways to increase your business. One of the ways that we recommend that you um, uh, start really connecting with your uh, customers and and so just listen to this. And in fact, you may want to write this down. I would suggest everybody have a pen and paper to uh, write these thoughts down. Because again, what you'll want to do is with some of these things that uh, we share with you today, that you're going to, you know, like, what do I talk to with other people? And so I'm going to give you some real juicy, good stuff to talk to uh, with other people about. But um, uh, so I'm going to do a couple of quotes and, you know, some, uh, some uh, kind of interesting, fun information. But we're going to start out with Charles Dickens and A Tale of Two Cities. And um, it was, uh, there was a quote in there that says, it was the best of times, it was the worst of times. And the reason why I love that is because we all in Mastermind Magnets decided to have all of this contrast, all of these changes that are happening in the world. And believe me, it's all for the better. You'll see that this is going to be better and better. But we took this and we took just the first part of that sentence. And if you just think about that it is the best of times that you will see it's going to be the best of times. And so uh, here's something to really think about. It's a great thing to bring up as a comment to uh, your clients that we're in the midst of a worldwide pandemic where 90% of the world's economies are in recession. Unemployment at, is at a historical high. Forbearance numbers, so we talked about that. That's one of the things you talk to people about is forbearance and delay, you know, mortgage payments, whatever. Forbearance number, numbers have never been higher, okay? And so it kind of sounds like the tale of two cities and that's the worst of times, okay? But catch this, the housing market is surging. <laughs> and um, in fact, we are looking at multiple offers now. We're looking at um, mortgage companies, title companies, appraisers being at maximum capacity. You know, we had a live event on Saturday and was with one of our favorite uh, lenders and Maria Leach and with First United. And, um, uh, and she, ex she was apologizing that it takes her now 24 days to a close, which is real good. Most mortgage companies are 30 days or more, but 24 days. And, um, and because the back office, it's not her and she has a whole team and everything, but the back office people are working. And so just, just listen to some of this data. And again, what you want to do is share the good news with your list. So call up people and just be excited and say, hey, you know, we got this pandemic stuff going on. We got unemployment and everything. But guess what? Real estate is booming, which means you need to get in on this. And so you need to get in on um, even leases, by the way. Leases is a great opportunity for you to do leases. And uh, you'll see in a year from now or six months from now that you'll start getting more and more um, uh, business out of those leases. They'll become buyers or whatever. But listen to this. Um, homes are selling right now at the fastest rate ever. It's 20 days they're sold once they're on market. 
ever, ever. This is the fastest ever that within 20 days that homes are being sold. What does that mean to our buyers and sellers? It means, hey, you need to get out and sell your home. You're going to get a top price. In fact, the medium home sales price in the U.S. And again, this is the type of information that people say, wow, you really know what's going on. You're on top of this. You know, you know you've know, you gone through all the clutter and you're looking at, you really know about real estate. But the medium home sales price has risen now by 2.8%. And uh, from the previous year in uh, June, and this is making a, an all-time high, the average home now sells in America, $311,300,000. So about, you know, over $300,000. So is that a time for, uh, to get our uh, people to list our, our, our um, our centers of influence uh, to be able to list, you bet. They need to list right now. And then with buyers, what are you telling them? You need to buy right now. So mortgage rates are now below 3%. The lowest that they've ever been. It's like getting basically free money to be able to do that. And we just had a client uh, last week uh, lock in at 2.75%. And so, you know, based on their credit score and everything, but like, um, and so this can look good just for you and I to realize that actually, because they refinance, it could lower the overall supply. So, which means now we need to be looking at where are more homes going to come from. And again, it's our new builder strategy uh, that we have. So, those are some really good data. Again, you know, homes are selling uh, within 20 days fastest rate ever. We're getting multiple office, uh, offers. Medium uh, home prices higher than ever, 311000 And then mortgage rates are historically low. They've never been uh, this low uh, before. So talk about, you know, the tale of two cities. And so which city do you want to live in? You want to live in the prosperous city, the abundant city, or the one of lack and limitation on employment and, you know, whatever. And, um, you know, and I have lots and lots of other data behind that, but I'm not, uh, today we're not going to go into a lot of that. Uh, just looking at commercial, though, uh, for those of you that uh, commercial mortgages, uh, delinquencies are uh, at the highest levels ever. So, uh, so again, it, what, and what this means is opportunity. There's always opportunity with every change. There's opportunity. And we've said this from like February 1st, when all of this started happening, all of this change happened that we can take advantage of it. And, um, so there's uh, a, a couple other things that I just want to share. There's a real opportunity for you because you should become becoming more productive now. You should have more and more business. I continue to hear from um, most of you that, wow, business is picking up. We're getting, we just had a, a, a listing yesterday and these are just agents that, you know, are saying, hey, guess what, you know, good news. You know, I got a buyer, you know, whatever. I met live with an agent and uh, yesterday and uh, talking with them and they just have all kinds of plans using our lead programs. And so to, for those of you that are new and maybe don't understand on how all this plays out is that basically uh, this is a mastermind group where we just all get together and we help each other grow our, our businesses. And, um, uh, and then on Thursday, we'll, we get more into detail. It's not a mastermind for all real estate professionals. It's more about the detail of uh, that entire opportunity. And I call it the GPS to your uh, real estate uh, success. And so one of the things I want you to consider is um, getting virtual assistance. And um, uh, VAs, they're actually very inexpensive. Uh, I attracted an $8 uh, virtual assistant, $8 per hour. And uh, he just does all kinds of stuff for me and some of my agents. And, you know, it's just unbelievable. But, what, what, you know, your prime, what, what your task is, if you will, what your passion is, is to be able to, you know, communicate it, talk with people and see the opportunity and show them how you can help 
real estate. And then there's all kinds of other stuff that is what I call low payoff activities. So you wanna stay focused on your high payoff activities and you want to delegate. So it's called D-E-S-C. And so you wanna delegate, you want to eliminate some things, you want to simplify some things, and then you wanna communicate those things. Like I'm a great person to come to and say, hey, I got this challenge or you know, I'm too busy with this or you know, whatever. Uh, some agents come crying to me and that's too late. Don't wait till you start crying and you're overwhelmed. Come to me when you just start feeling a little overwhelmed, come to me and there's always an answer, always a solution. So uh, there's 33 tasks actually that, and I'm gonna rattle off a couple of them, but 33 tasks that you should really have other people doing. Uh, sales support and accounting, basic bookkeeping, administrative support, transaction coordinator. And I would, if you don't have a transaction, you all need to get a transaction coordinator and have them do all that other stuff. Why, again, you're out, you know, either showing homes or having open houses or talking your list, doing, you know, those important things. Listing management, uh, real estate tax, valuations, marketing uh, collateral, online marketing. Um, uh, and so, you know, all kinds of different things that they can, you know, ma manage your social media. Okay. And so we have people like I, uh, hey, Marco, that, uh, you know, we have people that uh, can, can really uh, manage all of that. And there's places for you to attract that you can attract it on LinkedIn is where I found my guy. And it's just because I'm asking and then uh, the father uh, does the work and brings me all the good stuff. And, um, and so again, I'd like you to just be thinking about, hey, do I have a virtual assistant? That do I need one? And that all of you need one. But and don't say, oh, I can't afford one. Really, just eight uh, just pay them just for one hour, if, if, you know, per week, or, you know, start off with an hour per month, but start giving them and just trust people, you know, you got to give them all your passwords and whatever, other than your bank account. That's <laughs> okay. And um, so what I want to do now, though, is um, we're going to start opening it up a little bit earlier that, uh, again, you know, there's lots of uh, things going. Uh, and I, I do want to just, you know, kind of review that. The economy, just so you know, that 25% of disposable income last month uh, came from the government. So our personal disposable income came from the government, 25% of it never ever has been anything like that. And uh, so the economy is good because the government paid for it and now the economy is getting better. And, uh, and we need to know all that because of like jobs is the critical point for real estate. And that is continually going down. There's all kinds of good things going on with the economy. It's getting better. It's opening up. Um, the uh, the uh, a virus that um, yeah, the pandemic that 99.97% uh, uh, of us are just fine. There's been a lot of cases. That's actually good news because it creates immunity for us that uh, we, the world has uh, survived all of these kind of pandemics throughout history and we will this time as well. And remember you create your own experience. So as long as you believe you're gonna be healthy and you think about you being healthy and not dying, you will be healthy. Uh, the, uh, so we got the pandemic, uh, then we have uh, reform and man, we have been on reform like nobody's business. And uh, you're gonna hear in a couple of minutes about first responders and that program specific to real estate, but uh, we go way beyond real estate with that. And so right now we're actually in the middle of reform. And so last week we had uh, a meeting and let's see, the next meeting that we have on that is, um, actually it's gonna be the 28th. And uh, so that's going to be next Tuesday evening at 6.30, we are um, uh, going to have another, uh, and if you need the link and everything, we have all that set up, but that is on the protest reform and with solutions. And so we're really at the point uh, last week on uh, Wednesday, we um, I came up with solutions. And when I say we, these are a panel of experts from around the United States that are coming together with uh, solutions and answers for all of this, because this isn't just, 
um, it, you know, it's deep rooted and it has to do with the community too. It has to do with, uh, you know, our upbringing, all of our upbringings and everything. And the fact is that all of us, our souls want to have more freedom. And so freedom, we are going to give them. We have all kinds of exciting things about that and how we help uh, companies as, as well. Um, and so, so we basically have all those things going as far as, you know, the economy, the virus, you have that in. So you need to be aware and sensitive of that. And safety is just a key right now. And again, you don't want to uh, really give your opinion about any of that. You just want to see how they're doing, ask questions, and then get to real estate as soon as you can uh, to help them and, and to serve them. But don't be in the sales mode on that. And uh, so now what we're going to do, we kind of looked at, you know, where we are and hopefully gave you some good thoughts and, you know, some good discussion points with your clients, some good understanding for you to be aware of, hey, what's really going on and what are we doing? We're very proactive in helping all of this and getting solutions. Uh, uh, we actually, I, I have a, a way to, uh, there are ways now to um if you get the coronavirus to heal you. And so if you need to know those ways, if you're feeling sick, or if you know someone that uh, those are the type of resources we have, we literally have some um, medical doctors that have discovered some things. And uh, so it can give you some uh, relief. And if all of us just look at it as a bad flu and that we're going to be healthy, that we will be healthy. And then with that, then I want to open it up uh, to, uh, uh, first of all, we're going to do first responders and with Teresa Price, and she's one of the top agents in America. She has uh, developed just this amazing uh, first responders program. And good morning, Teresa. Hi, how are you? Hi, uh, fantastic. Living Hello, everybody. Hello, <laughs> everybody, all you rock stars. Yeah, just love to see everybody there. Hey, it's just fantastic. And yeah, so um, uh, so Teresa, um, I know that you want to show us a video. I think before that, you want to uh, share a little about how this came all about and and uh, and where we are now, and uh, and maybe some results too. Because uh, and I'll just share kind of the top line of results is that. Um, you're going to be able to get um, leads uh, as far as the business side is concerned. Uh, you're going to be able to get leads, uh, uh, closings that at least two to three closings per month. And just about every lead will eventually close, you know, and there's a late time, sales time and everything. But that's how powerful this is. It's probably the best leads program in America. And it's exclusive to us. And so you're, you're going to hear about it. And so, Teresa, take it away. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Hank. Yeah. Well, so I humbly um, want to thank everybody that's on this call. Um, Danny Robinson, Paula, and Stacy, um, for having the heart um, to be part of this program. I think that really what this, um, what the first responder resources program is about is creating relationships. And what I have, the history behind it is I've, and it's a very long story from five years old to current, but realistically, I left real estate to pursue a paralegal career just for a few years. And while I was doing patent law, it's a very quiet office. <laughs> um, I came up with a dream and initially it was called Your Place. And it was going to be like this Michael Jackson type, you know, wonderland where first responders and their families could go to escape all the stress and trauma uh, my experience with first responders my entire life is that they have shown up so many times for me and my family. And I decided the other day that I'm going to write a book and tell the story. And some of it's very sad and some of it's very incredible when it comes to how I feel 
about first responders and probably other people will relate to how they feel about them. So, um, so I decided to come back to real estate back in 2018. And my intention was to start this program. And so when I met Dr. Hank and he said, what do you want? <laughs> I love that question. <laughs> um, I said, I want you to help me take the first responder program national for two reasons. I want to work with first responders and contribute back to them as much as I can humanly poss possibly do. But I want you to help me um, help other agents make this a part of their business because there's so much reward in it for you. Um, and there's so much, um, so much of a contribution to the first responder community, which as you know, in every one of our communities, there are thousands of first responders at all kinds of different levels. Yeah. So it is an entire um, society or profession that you can specialize in. So, um, so that's what I did. I just got on LinkedIn and started researching and interviewing and long story short, they started to respond. And the next thing I know, I'm working with um, the chief of police in Forney and um, one of my very good friends today, the, the fire captain in Carrollton. And I had no idea what a significant difference the real estate services and contributions would make in their lives. And it catapulted from there because there's such a tight knit society or industry that the next thing I know they're referring people that aren't even first responders. Um, they're referring other first responders. I think I'm on my fourth generation now for referrals and it's only been like six months, nine months. Um, and so uh, probably 80% of my business is spent, um, with that portion personally. And then my other passion is to help all of you create the same, um, niche. People call it niche. I don't, I like niche. Yeah. Anyway. Just so, you know that, <laughs> yeah. so the old days were, it was, it was niche and, uh, and then about, I don't know, five, seven years ago, it changed to niche. And so depending niche. on who I'm talking to, if, if they're, if they're um, uh, uh, more mature people, <laughs> that, you know, older people, that, uh, uh, that, then I, I say it's a niche. And if not, it's a niche. But we know what you mean. <laughs> so there's a lot to tell about this. And so where we're at right now, at, just after a little over one year, of the development of this program is completely remarkable. And yes, and they are responding and everything that's going on with them right now, they need love, support, appreciation. And that is my angle. That's what my heart, that's what's in my heart. Yeah. But through the course of reaching out to them from that angle, which Dr. Hank teaches all of us, to reach out to everybody to create our relationships is really, really making a difference for our first responders and their families right now. Yeah. And you will find, you will have relationships with first responders. And then the next thing you know, one of their wives is your best friend and mm -hmm. you're gonna realize things like how isolated the wives or the husbands are. And there's so many things that you'll learn that make you an incredibly valuable person in their lives. So with all of that said, it has evolved into something that we don't have enough time to talk about all of it. And so the, we've cre uh, I've created a website, firstresponderresources.org. And it says coming soon. And there is a video I'm about to play for you. If Dr. Hank will let me share the screen. Um, so let's see. Um, Do you have a share on there? Do you have a share on there? On yours? Yeah. I it think you can. Post disabled participant screen sharing. <laughs> that would post, be you, Dr. Hank. I, that would be the anchors. <laughs> <Let me laughs> see here on, um, 
Uh, so, you know, <laughs> you know what we're going to do? I can't figure it out. Well, let me just see if I can do more on your name. And I sent you an email with the link if you want to do it from your end, sweetie. Well, I tried to do that and I couldn't get it. And so, but what I want to do is I'm going to actually just do it right now. And okay. so, um, so, and then tell me, um, so what, so I'm supposed to type in F-I-R-S-T-R-E-S-P-O-P-O, and all of you can be doing this too, first responders, and then resource. First responder resources.org. Is that what you're Ah, talking? resources. Okay. I forgot that S on it. That's um, okay. Group.org. And um, this is going to answer a lot of your questions. So, so see, it, it bounces me again on that. Dr. Hank, Dr. Hank, you're, yeah. using, you're using responders, plural. It's responders, singular. First oh. responder resources. Okay. So let's see. First respond. Oh, uh, so the two R's are together then? Responder and then resource? First responder resources. Resources. Dot org. Dot org. And that's the um, YouTube link. Oh, yeah. Got it. Got it. Ooh, that's great. <laughs> Now, so now I'm going to go back to you guys and um, see, I am, this is why they call me Mr. Technology, you know? <laughs> it's, you know what, I am, I have, I have resorted to um, not uh, making it a big deal like you taught me, Dr. Hank. Right, right. And even, I, even my Zoom calls are like, okay, well, let, let's just pray that this goes well. Right, right. <laughs> and, and so everybody can see the screen now, right? Yeah. So this is the website that's being worked on. And okay. eventually this will give all three divisions. And it's the, the video is going to talk about the three divisions. And then I'll answer questions for you afterwards. Okay, great. So we're going to uh, watch this video here, guys. And um... Hi, how are you? I'm good. This is Teresa Price. And I promised all of my first responder friends and family and clients that I would share uh, some information with you. Um, to give you a better idea of what the first responder program looks like and the resources that are available to you. So I'm really honored to be here today and spend a few minutes with you and uh, at least give you a summary version of what we're doing and why. So I just, before I go continue, I definitely want you to know how much I really, truly appreciate you and your families and all that you do for all of us. Uh, it's just very near and dear to my heart. Mm -hmm. And so thank you, thank you, thank you for showing up for all of us. So this is what we want. We want to see you happy healthy, even wealthy. Uh, we want to see your families happy. We want to see you living the highest quality of life that you can possibly live. And so this is what some of our friends are in here and some of my clients are in here. And these are just the most precious photos and there are hundreds of these. And so that is the goal is that the whole point of this program is to uh, provide you with resources that help you, that help enhance the quality of your life. <clears throat> so this is what we don't want. This is the tragedies and the um, stress and the um, horrible things in, that you witness 
and the horrible things that you have to contend with and in some cases that your family has to go through when they lose you. Uh, so we are definitely supporters of you and your extended family. And so when these times happen, even though I said that we don't want this, but life delivers tragedies sometimes. And so we want you to know that we are definitely here during these times as well. And we have many, many, many resources to help you through these challenging times, especially right now that you're going through um, or when it hits home and you really need someone to rely on. We have a network of people with their arms open to love you through it and to love your family through it. So please keep us in mind um, when you need us for these moments as well. So first responder resources was born out of a passion to be part of your life and to be available for you when you need us. I am so honored to be here to tell you about this. So just a little bit about me, because it's really all about you, is that I am the founder of First Responder Resources Program. And I say that very humbly because the partners um, and vendors that are involved in this program really are what make up our village. And so think of us that way as with an open gate and inside is an entire self-sufficient village for you to visit where there are free resources to you and e-financial contributions and um, so many people that want to help you. I am a business owner as well. I own Homesland Leases LLC, um, so you could call me an entrepreneur at heart. Um, but real estate is my passion and has been for 19 years. Um, before that, I uh, owned an oil and gas company. So um, small businesses um, are very excited about being involved in this as well. And so my biggest passion, my biggest passion is the, for being a first responder realtor. And all of the first responder realtors that you're going to see here in a moment feel the same way. And so we are prepared to give you stellar customer service and heart and to refer you to the right resources when you need us. And so I'm proud to have that be my number one passion in my business. Our mission um, to offer first responders, you and their families, your family, um, offer you significantly valuable resources that enrich the quality of your lives. To show our appreciation and support for showing up every day to serve and protect our families, businesses, and communities. So you are in our prayers every day, and this is our mission. We have three divisions. Uh, so we have health and wellness resources, many of them. We have career and business opportunities that you'll find very intriguing. Um, we have real estate services and financial contributions for you. So I'm just going to talk a little bit about a few of them um, just to give you an idea. The health and wellness resources, our two biggest supporters and partners um, are one, the Lions Strategy Group, and they provide leadership training at a city level and per departments. So, for example, we did, uh, they did um, a seminar where they were teaching resilience training um, for the city of Frisco, Texas, in Texas, here in Texas. And so it was just an incredible response. And it is just, they're just the most endearing people. And uh, two of the owners, uh, Mike Wilson, uh, Chief Mike Wilson actually, is retired from the Keller, Texas Police Department. He's an incredible human being. And so he is one of the number one trainers. And then Mike Alexander, 
um, Chief Mike Alexander, who is also a retired chief, and he is an incredible speaker, um, one of my favorite speakers ever. And so they did the resilience training for the city of Frisco, Texas, and that was for everybody. It was for city officials, the city employees, the police department, the fire department, everybody was involved, um, administration, you name it. And so our uh, first responder resources program is extended to those folks as well. So if you are interested in learning more about the Lions Strategy Group, please contact Mike Wilson at the email that's provided here. Then there is the famous Dr. Hank Seitz, who I am proud to call my friends and my business partner. And Dr. Hank uh, is um, very, very supportive of first responders. And so he, uh, he does mindset training uh, with, along with the Lions Strategy Group at the seminars, but he also does meditation coaching um, outside of that. He is um, um, contributing his time and all of his material for free for you. And one-on-one um, -on -one mental wellness counseling, um, just on the phone privately, I highly recommend that you keep him in mind for when you're going through tough times and boy, he can make a really big difference in your life. Dr. Hank can be reached again at this email below here on this slide. So there's Dr. Hank on the right. Yes, he is that happy all the time. And there is my good friend and the CEO of the Lion Strategy Group, Chief Mike Wilson. And there I am smiling again <laughs> because I'm pretty much always smiling when I'm in your presence. Um, as you know, this is my passion. And so uh, being in partnership with these two gentlemen has been such an incredible blessing. So the second uh, division um, of the First Responder Resources Program is Career and Business Opportunities. And boy, has this been a popular one lately. Uh, the Lions Strategy Group, for instance, is looking for leadership trainers for the seminars that they're doing with the cities and for the police departments and fire departments. And again, Mike Wilson at Lions Strategy Group's email is here on this slide as well. Um, so Dr. Hank and I are business partners in the real estate industry. And one of the things we offer is to help you get a real estate license and build a real estate business. Whether you wanna do it on the side as a, an active first responder and maybe you know develop it now and then go full time when you retire. Um, what we do is we help you build that business so that you're making significant amounts of money as well as working with other first responders. Um, so we have an entire platform we can show you um, if you're interested in a real estate career, as well as being a first responder realtor. Um, we also have a program where we support and market and promote first responder businesses. So we have a preferred vendor referral list for you. If you have a business or your family member has a business, then please do contact us so that we can get you on that VIP vendor list and increase the businesses that enhance your finances or your family members' finances in helping grow your businesses. Um, and then of course, that includes all kinds of great things that are free, like social media advertising, shout outs, tons of referrals, um, and uh, under Dr. King's umbrella, on the real estate side, he's probably got over 35 realtors and they all utilize that vendor list. So that's really an incredible um, resource for you. So uh, the career I'm talking about in real estate for you is um, really quite um, lucrative and flexible and you have the skill sets uh, the skill sets and the intelligence and the heart, the 
that really makes a great realtor. And so um, we are looking for and promoting the first responder realtors program. And as you can see, here are some of our first responder realtors. And please, please, please feel free to contact them on social media. Sergeant Danny Robinson is retired, um, is a retired sergeant with the Dallas Police Department after 33 years. And his dream was to get his real estate license and build a real estate business that where he specialized in farm and ranch. As everybody that knows Danny, he is a rancher. And so, oh, I just love this man. He is just the most incredible human. And I'm so, so thankful and appreciate all of his years that he served as, as a sergeant. And then Tammy Marmillion, um, she is an incredible realtor. And she is now just as passionate and um, all on board to develop the Maricopa County um, first responder resources program uh, in Arizona. So we are so inc incredibly blessed to have Tammy on our team. And so uh, Stacy Scoggins, now Stacy's here locally um, working with myself and Danny in, in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. And Stacy also is a first responder realtor and she is an incredible human and just a wonderful realtor. And so I encourage you to reach her on social media as well. And then I'll just introduce one other person. There are several first responder realtors and obviously we're moving forward on going national with this program. Um, so Commander uh, James McCormick is not only one of the speakers for the Lion Strategy Group um, seminars, but he decided to join us and be a first responder realtor as well. So our hats go off to Commander McCormick um, for choosing, after his retirement of course, choosing to um, get a license and be and help us with you and, um, and your family for when you need him as well. And he's also here locally in the DFW Metroplex. Okay, so the real estate services and financial contributions is our third division. And like I've been saying, it is um, a group of uh, licensed realtors, some first responders, other, others just seasoned realtors, and have been in the real estate business um, for a long while. Um, but one of the major things that we do under the real estate services is that um, we, like I said earlier, promote the first responder businesses, business owners, excuse me, and also first responder advocates. So we have an entire vendor list I talked about earlier, and um, some of those folks um, are offering incredible discounts. For example, we work with a moving company owned by firefighters, managed by firefighters, and they're just wonderful. They give our first responders incredible discounts. So as a first responder realtor, um, once you have decided to work with one of us, um, we give very significant financial contributions to you. Um, I will give you an example. Um, we also have first responder lender here in DFW, Brett Carmen with First Response Mortgage. He is just incredible, um, just brilliant, and has such heart in working with you. And between our contribution and his contribution, we just recently helped um, one of the retired chiefs here in the DFW area uh, sell his home uh, and purchase a new one in Fort Worth. And so it, you know, we sold their house in less than six days and um, that was just really wonderful. Um, it helped them purchase a new one. And so um, they were given a 1% discount on the commission on the sale of their home. And then on the purchase of their new home, they were given, um, and I'm telling you that this comes out of um, the, real, the first responder realtor's personal commission. 
And so this is really a wonderful moment for us to be able to contribute to you in a very personal and appreciative way. But back to my story, sorry. Mm -hmm. um, so on the sale of their home, it's like half a percent of the sales price. So by the time we were uh, had completed uh, the tra transitions, the two transitions, moving and moving in, um, it was in excess of $10,000, $10,209, I believe it was total. So it's a pretty significant amount of money and boy, were they thrilled. Um, so our hats go off to that family and thank you, thank you, thank you for letting us help you. So that gives you an idea of the real estate services and financial contributions. And that's just really touching um, on the summary version. So thank you for letting me share some additional information with you today or even your first introduction to the First Responder Resources Program. Um, I think that our big question for you or request is let us show up for you. You show up for us every day and we would like for you to let us, uh, we would like for you to let us show up for you every day and share our appreciation and um, allow us to, um, you know, lead you to the resources that are really going to make a big difference for you financially, emotionally, physically. Um, we have so much to share with you. So think of us as your very own village, and now you have the key to the gate. Um, call or text, that's my personal phone number. Um, I'm very excited to announce that the firstresponderresources.org website is coming soon, and it's gonna be very similar information than I shared with you today. So have a wonderful day, and um, I wish you and your family an abundance of blessings. Keep us in mind and remember us for others, for other first responders that you know as well, and forward this to them. We want everybody to know about us, and we want everybody to have a key to that gate. So have a safe day, and know that we love you and appreciate you, and we're always here for you. Teresa Price, signing out for now, and again, I just want you to know how much I appreciate you. Thank you, thank you, thank you for all that you do for all of us. Have a great week. Yay. Fantastic. Bravo, bravo. That's great. It's, that's like the first one. I'm sure that'll get better. But if we were doing the drinking game on every time I said incredible, we'd all be very drunk. <laughs> Nobody pays attention to any of that stuff. <laughs> you know me, I'm not I I'm an ad libber. It's like if I screw up, then how about it? Yeah, anyway, but um, it's a great start, and I will share with all of you that got 86 hits yesterday. Wow, that's in one day. That's fantastic. It's gone out to thousands of first responders in the last week and a half through LinkedIn. Yeah, fantastic. Um, so let's see, uh, uh, comments, uh, thoughts that we're, uh, we want to, uh, take the next, you know, few minutes and just, uh, answer any questions. How do I get started or how do I develop this or whatever are your thoughts on this program? That's a really good video that it answered everybody's questions. <laughs> well, I'll have a quick um, uh, question or comment, I guess. Yeah. Uh, it's Rebecca. <laughs> Rebecca hey, with Rebecca. Rebecca. Hi. Uh, Teresa, nice to meet you. And um, thank you so much for sharing. That was fantastic. I always thank like. Thank you, Rebecca. Uh, yes, absolutely. I, I like to always look and see, you know, and, and appreciate other people's work. So congratulations on that. Um, Teresa, I have a quick question. Is um, Brett, um, Brett part of this team, the first responders? Yes. Okay, Brett, fantastic. Brett, I, uh -huh. Brett is um, able to do a contribution that I have not been able to find with any other mortgage lenders. Um, it comes out to probably about half a percent of the sales price. 
and mm -hmm. on the purchase side, half a percent of the sales price from the agent. So it's a really significant um, con Our average has been, the lowest has been 5,200 between the two, lender and realtor, to the 10,000, 109. Now, um, the 5,200 did not include um, the other services that were provided for the captain of the fire department. So we put together kind of a value package, um, but between the realtor and the lender, it's about 1% on the purchase side. Perfect. So I did have um, a a meeting with Brett and, you know, talking about this, I just was curious how that, you know, your brand, is that uh, something that he's able to then uh, share with us or should we be working with you directly on promoting this brand, I guess? And um, so this is one of those things where you can pretty much mirror what I've done. Um, Certainly, as the founder, I'm meeting with people and adding the resource partners. I want all of you to do all of the things that I've been doing. And I think that these monthly meetings are really going to help you because during the course of doing all of this, that's where the business has come from is the other vendors I meet with, or, you know, it's been a blend. Um, the people that I'm talking to on, to promote it um, on LinkedIn have been clients. Um, resource partners have been clients. Um, people that, you know, I'm sending stuff out to on social media have been clients. Um, referrals from first responders have been clients. So when you get involved and you put your heart into this and you just basically mirror what I'm doing is bringing more resources to the table, you're going to start seeing it increase your business. And it could increase your business to like an 80% quickly. That's exactly what happened to me. I had six things I was going to focus on and now I'm down to two, uh, this and the new construction, because the first responder program is so, um, grew so fast. And there's so many people that I can meet with that meets every lead generation program subject talked about from deal, if you're working with business owners and you introduce this program to them and we put them on our vendor list, and we start giving them business and they have a passion for first responders. Well, right there, you're going to have listings and purchases just in that one little section. Um, as you're reaching out on social media, go to the Dallas police station. If they won't let you in, stand out front and do a video. And it's really about awareness and it's really about branding yourself as a first responder realtor. And we have special cards that we just updated with the website on it. Now the website eventually is going to have, it's going to be really more like a directory. So it will say Danny Robinson, first responder realtor, when they go to the first responder realtors. And so it'll go directly to your email, Danny. Um, okay. If they, if they go to Dr. H if they want to get a hold of Dr. Hank, then it will be read, they'll click on Dr. Hank's website and it'll go directly to him or his email or what. Mike will have a, a, a place or a square or whatever. And so, and then all of our resource partners, they'll have access to direct, directly contact them as well. So what we're doing is we're adding resources and we are a resource. We are first responder realtors and we um, contribute financially to their, to their real estate needs. But there's the other key thing is that if you're interested in growing your sponsors, your, your, um, your team as a sponsor under Dr. Hank's umbrella, there are first responders out there. And this has been really a big deal lately that are reaching out that want to get their licenses and they want to have a second business and they want real estate to be it because where else are you going to make $30,000 part-time mm -hmm. until they retire? 
Um, some of them are considering changing careers and are interested in real estate. There is no other career out there that I can think of that you're going to make $100,000 your first year. And, um, and if you want to make extra money, I don't know of any other part-time job with what Dr. Hank is offering um, through, through all of these programs that we do where you can make an extra $30,000 and still raise your kids or still work part-time. It's, you know, real estate is one of the two top paying um, businesses in America. The other one, well, it used to be oil and gas. Now it's IT, but the point being that person, an average person can start a real estate business and easily make 80 to $120,000 their first year. And we are sitting on an absolute gold mine here in DFW. So the first responders are reaching out to us to get their businesses started because they're retiring in three years. Um, I had one first responder that had been wounded and is scared. And I said, well, would not, would this, this would light an incredible candle for you. While you're waiting to see if you can go back on duty, let's get you um, to champions. Let's get you your real estate license. If you go back to work, you can still tell your friends what you're doing on the side or set it aside. But I have seen so much hope and so much excitement. There's a 911 dispatcher. She's going to be doing it part-time because she wants to retire in four years. There is a police officer that is only going to be on the job another six years. He wants his wife to manage it. They're going to do a partnership and he wants to get started now. Hey, so mm -hmm. say if I can, that just because of time, um, because I know we can go on and on on this, you know. Very passionate it's about it. Amazing, yeah, yeah. That, um, and so for all of you, like how to get started, that um, you can send me uh, an email, and then we have an email that we send out, and uh, it is uh, with the information and what the agreement, we actually have an agreement, and the agreement is, you know, the honor system, if you will, so you understand that hey, we want you to give, you know, a portion of your commission, but you'll wait and make way, way more money. I mean, you know, we're making, agents are making 25, 30, 35 grand a month just on this program. And um, uh, if not, and, and building it, you know, from there. So, um, uh, so, so you can just email me and I will then send you the initial information in order to how to get going. There are ways on how do you build that. One easy way all of you can do right now is go on LinkedIn and in the search button in quote marks, go uh, put in first responder and then your market because this can be in any market uh, that yes, we have one in DFW as far as the mortgage lender, but you can use any lender that you know, you want um, that we like uh, ours, if you're local here, that you would use ours because they get so much and they know all about the program with Brent. But outside of that, that you can use any lender that you want. But if you'll do first responder um, and your city that and hit enter, you'll find all kind and ask to connect with them. And, they, and most of them will connect with you. And then you can like share that video. That's a good way. Hey, I wanted to share this video, let you know we have all these resources. Because this is way more than just real estate. We're not just playing real estate agent to buy, sell. We're saying we're gonna offer all the stuff to include, by the way, that if you wanna buy or sell your home, you know, at least whatever you wanna do in real estate, we can help you. And, um, and so with that, Rebecca, does that help answer your question or do you uh, have another question? I do have more specific questions, but maybe I will touch base with Teresa directly in the interest of time. Okay, great. And uh, you have her number. Did you uh, uh, put her number down there? That yeah. And so this can really be a, a big blessing for uh, everyone. And again, if you know anything, just email me about it if you want the specifics. Now, just so you know that again on Thursday, we have um, our, uh, our GPS to your real estate success and the five steps to increase your business and wealth strictly only for real estate agents or brokers. And uh, then,
next Tuesday, we will talk about uh, another leads program that we have. And see, what's cool about these is they're the best leads in the world. Just about 100% of the leads close. And uh, it doesn't cost you any money. It's free. And so we have the whole platform for you to be able to do that. But next week, we'll talk about the new, new home and how to be able to go to new home builders because supply is all about it. And this is a way to get buyers, if you will, and listings. And that's a whole that's uh, amazing. And so, uh, Teresa, we thank you very much for your expertise. And any, uh, any closing comments, Teresa, you want to share with us? Um, yes. So I, um, I, so I said earlier, I talked about mirroring. So I will, um, the PowerPoint that you saw, um, I invite you to make your own PowerPoint. Mm -hmm. You can take mine and insert your own information. Cool. Um, so that would make it so much easier for you to create a video that is specifically you offering the first responder resources program so that they identify with you and use that in your social media. Um, I think that that's really what got, got me launched personally. And the second thing is make sure that your lender offers that half a percent somehow, some way, because that's what we advertise. Yeah. So, and not for them to take it on the other end. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> other end. So you want to make it. sure, yes, you want to make sure that they're truly contributing to closing cost, buying yeah. them a point, but it's got to equal a, a, a half a percent of the purchase price. Okay. And when you find that person that agrees to that, we want to add a second, third, fourth lender we want your lenders to be part of this program. That is a really key person. So I thank you all for considering it and especially thank um, all of you that have put effort into it and have committed to it already. God bless you for helping our first responders. Yeah, absolutely. Beautiful. I have one quick thing. Yes, sir. Uh, Brett and I are working with two, well, we have three first responders we're working with right now, but one didn't think that the pre-qual letter was high enough, so she's trying to go to another company. But this veteran that we're having right now, Brett has some strategies that are strategies that I'm getting more comfortable with also, because we were going to contribute our percentage, but then he called me and he said, Danny, before you uh, sign that, uh, close on that, ask those people to contribute $5,000. He's a veteran. And I said, sure, I'll do it. And I got comfortable and called him and they said, you send the paperwork in and said we're going to send this in and ask for five thousand. They came back and said, "Sure, we'll give you the five thousand." But it's better than that, seven thousand dollars. Yeah. Wow, and that's amazing. And so I think Brett, if if you don't know Brett, he's very he's helpful to us also. Thank yeah. you, Danny, for saying that because that's yeah. what we're here for. We've got their back. Remember that we've got yes. the first responder clients of yours. We've got your back. That's our main thing for them. Yes. Put as much money in their pocket as possible. Yeah. And thank you all today. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you, Danny. And so a couple of things that uh, some of the verbiage that uh, Teresa used, I just love this idea about village. I love the idea about you have the key to the gate. And so for the first responders, key to the gate, and then you uh, also opened up with an open gate, and this is an open gate for them to enjoy. You know, we've been promised, I give you life and I give you life more abundantly, and we're here to help other people to uh, have life more abundantly, and, uh, and then for us as well. And I love this idea about stellar customer service, and so it's just good, you know, good feeling thoughts, if you will, just love that. Also, the thought about heart, and this idea about let's all show up. So let's show up. Again, if this isn't your thing, if, if you're not turned on by that, we have other lead programs. If you really feel good, you want to help first responders to make more money, have more business than you've ever had before, then um, and really have the heart for this, then we set, certainly want you to show up. And so showing up right now is, you know, community, uh, contacting either Teresa or I. And because of time, we're going to finish off with, we like to laugh and have more fun. We like to laugh and have more fun.
as we increase our income, as, as we, we increase, increase our, our income, income, we expect to have it now. We, we expect, expect to have it now. now. Or we understand how. Or we, <laughs> we understand how. I accept prosperity. I accept prosperity. And money finds me easily. Money, <laughs> money finds me easily. easily. Prosperity is our divine right. The prosperity is our divine right. The universe and God is our guiding light. The universe and God is our guiding light. <laughs> so love you guys. Fantastic being with you. Ooh. Know that everything is coming your way. It's getting better and better. We're, yes. Oh, a little love. Yeah. And let's do the huggers. Come on. Some, some virtual hugging. <laughs> virtual kissing. I mean, this is good. Stop, man. <laughs> And so I'm going to turn off the recording, and when I do, if you want to stay on, if you do have any other questions, Teresa and I will uh, hang on here. So for all of you, thanks so much for watching. Know that we love you, that we have you in mind, that we're going to show up for you, and then show up for the world. And so I send you love, and know that all is well and getting better for you and me. Woohoo! Love you guys. Bye-bye. <laughs>